Hello friend, today we are going to discuss a very common method for the induction of diarrhea in rats that is castor oil induced diarrhea in rats and how the anti-diarrheal drugs is screened using this model. So in uh, diarrhea, it is uh, recognized as an important problem in developing countries. It is defined as an increase in the frequency, fluidity or volume of the bowel and it is characterized by increased frequency of bowel sound and movement, wet stools and abdominal pain. So these are the signs and uh, the characterization of diarrhea. Then treatment of diarrhea is generally non-specific because several causes are involved for the diarrhea and usually aim to reducing the discomfort and inconvenience of frequent bowel movement. So the therapy or the treatment goal is to reduce the discomfort first and second is the inconvenience of frequent bowel movement has to be reduced. So in this uh, model uh, related to diarrhea, the British stool characters, they have divided this stool into various categories that include first, if you observe that uh, it's a like and smooth, small snacks, it is a normal stool. It is also called as the normal stool, but sometimes the separate hard lumps are observed, which is called as the severe constipation. Then liquid consistency with no solid piece that is severe diarrhea. Then mushy consisting with racked edge, it is a mild diarrhea. Soft blobs with clear cut edge, it is a lacking fibers. And lumpy and sauce like, it is called as the mild constipation. So based on the characteristics and types of the stool, again, one can observe with the type of diarrhea and the constipation is there or not. So in this case, we will going to use the castor oil. It is uh, considered as the castor oil is get hydrolysis and it forms a rechinolic acid. And this rechinolic acid, it has a two effect in the GIT. First is it produces hypersecretory responses from the GIT. And second, it sensitizes the intramural neurons of the gut. So this is what the mechanism by which castor oil uh, produces this diarrhea. Let's see the process. In this case, we have to use a Vistar rat. Probably 210 to 230 grams should be used. And the in each group, you should take the 6 to 10 animals. Then all the animals, they were fasted for 18 hours before the experiments. Then after the animals are divided into the four groups particularly. The first group is considered as a normal group, as a normal rat, which will be receiving only the vehicle. Second group is the castor oil group where you have to induce or administered castor oil 1 ml orally to the animal. Third group, you can consider it as a standard group where you have to give the standard anti-diarrheal drug. And the fourth group is the group which will be treated with the test drug. If you test drug having the different different doses, you can make the group as per requirement. And the test and Standard drug should be administered as per the decided dose. Care should be taken that both this test and standard should be administered one hour before the administration of the castor oil. So after 24 hours of castor oil administration, the stool should be collected on the wetting paper. So this type of paper you have to put into the uh, cages. And uh, before uh, putting the uh, wet pa paper, you have to take the weight of this paper. And after the process, you have again note down the weight of the paper. So 
weight of the paper before and after defecation was noted which will helpful for finding out or calculating the results now uh, here you have to observe the four different uh, things and that includes first is you have to identify the early diarrheal excretion early diarrheal excretion is nothing but the net stool weight during first 8 hours then you have to find out the diarrhea free period so it is nothing but the time in minutes between gastrointestinal administration and occurrence of first output which is called as the diarrhea free period then next is the acute diarrheal phase so acute diarrheal phase is nothing but the time between first and last diarrhea output of 8 hour observation so in first 8 hour observation what was the first uh, diarrhea first stool and last diarrheal output that has to be observed is called as the acute diarrheal phase and the late diarrheal phase so it is nothing but the stool occurring between 8 and 24 hours after castor oil so all these parameters has to be observed the time required in the minute has to be observed and then these parameter and the evaluation is carried out so with anti diarrheal drug dose response curves are obtained for decrease in hypersecretion stool so number of stools uh, the frequency or the number of stool is going to be decreases if the drug having anti diarrheal activity and increase in diarrhea free period if the drug having the good anti diarrheal activity apart from that compare the results between the different different groups uh, and represent the parameters in the form of the graph for easy understanding so uh, thank you for uh, your patience and uh, listening this uh, lecture so if you need such types of easy presentation of the screening techniques kindly subscribe like and share the video to your friends